Hey guys, it's Hector here with a new kind of product review. I recently subscribed to the Skosh Box. I I originally thought it was Skosh Box, but then I asked them, you know, how do you pronounce this? And they said it's Skosh Box. And I was like, oh, I think that's like, you know, the Japanese word Skoshi, which means, you know, a little bit or a few, which makes sense because they also have a bigger box with bigger items in it. They call the Deca Box. And, um,. I believe is dekai is like an adjective which is kind of like, well it's like a slang adjective that means really big. So skosh or skosh box and deca box, you know, small items and big items. So anyways, this is the November box. This is my first box ever and I want to see what's inside and kind of talk about it and record it and all that good stuff. So first I gotta get this thing up. The only thing that's actually holding it together is a little circular sticker, clear sticker thingy. So the damn sticker was coming apart, so I just got a little key and then just scraped it across like that. Alright, so here we are. It says November 2015 monthly Japanese treats. Don't forget, the Karabako every month is a new chance to win some treasures from Japan. And is this what's inside? Treasure roulettes. Okay, there's an otaku set and a kawaii set for the November treasures. It says each month, two lucky members will receive an extra surprise with their box. Treasures found only in Japan. There's no entry needed to participate and you could be a winner at any time. And then it has six items and maybe these are the six items that are inside. Let's see. So it just looks like this. And there's a little packet thingy with a little paper crane picture sticker. I just tear it out. I'll tear it, I don't care. And here we have our treasure set. Or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it looks like this little pamphlet tells you what each item is, which is good since it's only in Japanese and not everybody can read Japanese of course, so it's good to have a little pamphlet, leaflet, whatever you want to call it that has all the info. So here is, wait, which way is it going? It's this way or this way. It says Sakupan land, land almond cream filled choco biscuits. You can reorder it for $2.99. So if you like what you eat, if you like what you taste, then you can just reorder some more. And what is this little heart thingy? Oh, I guess it's like little post, post-its, little, um, you know, note thingies that come with this snack. <laughs> um, we'll taste that in just a second. Oh, so this is Hitori Jime Senbei Extra Crunchy Baked Rice Cracker. Which is cool because I tried um, Senbei before in another video, like a year ago, I think. But then one of my friends said it was like a knockoff Chinese brand or something. So I like to try how supposedly legit Japanese brand taste <laughs> supposedly probably is I don't know and then we have Hello Kitty Marshmallow it's a chocolate filled marshmallow $4.99 a bag wait for one of these bags or is it a bag of multiple marshmallows because if it's $4.99 for just one marshmallow bag that is a complete ripoff but it's probably a whole bag of marshmallows so they gave me two and then <clears throat> Ichigo milk candy, which is strawberry milk candy. Reorder for 99 cents. And Goma Dango chocolate. Sesame mochi cake chocolates. I'm a little worried about how that's gonna taste. And then Biscuit Saurus. It sounds crushed. Um, milk flavored biscuit cookies, $3.99 a pack. It says, snap a selfie with your favorite items. Hashtag Skoshbox. Love at first bite. Use Juichi10 for 10% off this month's snacks. Cool. Maybe I shouldn't... Should you give away the code? Or is it just for members only or something? I don't know. Okay, first I want to try the Senbei. Because, you know, like I said, I had it before, but it was kind of rip off. And I don't know. Let's see. Just a rice cracker that's kind of fried or whatever. Hmm. It's, 
extra crunchy, so it tastes a little burnt. <laughs> but I guess that's the taste they're going after, maybe. And it's extra crunchy. But then that rice cracker, I guess. Nothing special. Yeah, this a little burnt, almost like popcorn. So I want to try this. What was this again? Sakupanland almond cream filled choco biscuits. Oh, you gotta open it this way. Open it like that, and it's all magical. Mm. Ooh, it smells pretty damn good. There's a bunch of panda pictures on the front too. Check it out. Sometimes the camera doesn't want to focus. Picture of a pan on the front. Let's taste it. It's a little hollow on this top part. The bottom part has the almond cream. It tastes exactly like how it smells, which is really good. The almond has a nutty flavor, so it's almost coffee-esque. Almost, but not quite. And then the chocolate mixture. So far, that's my favorite. There's a better picture of it. Let's try the marshmallow chocolate. I don't expect much of this because, you know, you have chocolate marshmallows and stuff here. Well, there's no actual design on it, it's just marshmallow with chocolate in it. A very, very tiny bit of chocolate. It's not bad. Exactly what I expected, I guess. <clears throat> <Okay. clears throat> now let's try the Ichigo milk candy. Oh, these are hard. The hard candy, but it's still really sweet. It has that strawberry flavor. It's a sticky hard candy, though. I wasn't expecting it to be the sticky hard candy, so plus or minus, I guess. I don't know if I would reorder these ones because I don't really like the super sticky hard candy stuff. But I prefer it over the senbei, though, I guess. Um, what was this? Goma Dango Chocolate X. If I can open it. It's white. It's a white chocolate? Because white chocolate isn't really chocolate, it's like vanilla. Oh, come on, who, who designed this packaging? It's like clear plastic and then foil and stuff. Then there's checkers. Checkered pattern. Sesame seed filling. Mochi cake chocolates. It's okay. You can definitely taste the sesame seed. I don't know about the mochi. Mochi cake? I guess there's a tiny, tiny bit inside there, but you can't really taste it with all the sesame seed and the... It says chocolates, but it has to be white chocolate then, right? Which again isn't really chocolate. But then it says that there is. It's okay. I really don't like the taste of sesame seed that much with my sweets. But, well, I don't know. Put it above the list. Uh, above, um, what the hell is that called? Senbei. Because senbei is, you know, it's just burnt because it's extra crunchy. And these are all sweet, so that's why I'm putting it lower on the list. Okay, lastly, Biscuit Saurus. Milk flavored biscuit cookies. Not really expecting much of these because, well, for one, it sounds like they're all crushed, and for two, milk flavored. Oh, there's a little serrated top, which doesn't really help. Yeah, that did not help at all. Oh, there's little dinosaur pictures on the biscuits. Mmm, smells 
ice cream. Taste. Not bad. Very subtle. Not super hard core, you know. You know, I hear Japanese people don't really like super flavorful things. They like, you know, the subtle tastes. But some of these are really, really sweet and pretty hardcore on you. But this, this is really subtle and really, really nice. It's almost like a baby cookie. Well, American baby cookie since, you know, the baby cookies are less sweet. But it's still really good. So, I would actually put it above the Gomadango chocolate, which is the sesame mochi cake chocolates. Maybe even above the Hello Kitty marshmallows. Maybe even above the Ichigo milk candy. I'm tied between which are my favorites. Either these, the chocolate almond, or these, the milk biscuits, or whatever. But I think I'd have to go with these. The chocolate almond, because the mixture of the chocolate and the almond, and then the little crunch. These are these are just my favorite for this box. So this is my first Skosh box ever. And these do it monthly, only one box per month, and then you can reorder them over on their website if you like. And um, I guess I'll leave a link in the description in case you guys want to order these. Either the box, the monthly subscriptions, or just... I think you can just order the snacks by themselves without having to subscribe. But you can also subscribe monthly packages. I subscribe for an entire year, and so they'll be sending me a package once a month. And I'll, I'll talk about them each month from here until next October. But I'm not just going to be talking about this on my channel. I also do other Japanese related product reviews and I do vlogs and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you want to see any of that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe because more is coming in the future.